Hi everyone, my name is David and welcome to this video. I'll be doing a Filmora 13 vs Camtasia 2024 vs video, which one should you buy? Welcome to this video, I hope you're well wherever you're watching from. Now, this is Filmora, uh, just a ton of things, really awesome. And one thing I'd say is Filmora is more or less a cheaper version of Camtasia with a ton of features. Now, just to answer your question if you actually uh, deciding on which one you should buy buy filmora it's way way cheaper and with a ton of features based on the pricing now let's go to the pricing of filmora and you'll actually see like it's 49 something and so on and so forth and at the time of recording this video there's a 29.99 kind of dollar sale and what happens with this particular sale now even for the monthly plan right here you get 9.99 per month it's available on windows Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, and Android. That means you can use it on Windows, Mac, that is for the same license, iOS, that is on your phone, iPad, iOS, and an Android phone. Just more or less five licenses from this one particular subscription monthly. Now, for this one, this is probably the most popular plan, means that you can use it across all your devices for about 29.99 per year uh, most of the time it's usually 49.99 per year which i feel is really really cheap uh, for a ton of things that you get now let's actually quickly jump in to camtasia 2024 because they've scrapped away the perpetual plan uh, unless you owned camtasia previously uh, with the maintenance release uh, it's not going to be possible to, uh, to actually get the perpetual plan they had now it was still very expensive for a yearly updated kind of product with new features and so on and so forth. Now, if you want to buy Camtasia, if you look at the plans here, for the bare bones, bare bones Camtasia, you need to spend 179.88 per year. And what do you get with this? Screen and camera recording, powerful video editing, instant stylized layouts and this is what they call Camtasia Rev it's really awesome uh, not all that because it's lacking the option to hide a save presets and more or less this is the only thing that kind of are lacking in uh, Filmora if I may say the Camtasia Rev and I'm almost sure Filmora are actually going to get such a feature in the near future this is the bare bones now for the $49 version or $29 version that we've seen in Filmora you get at 249 per year so that you can get text-based video editing ai generated script from a prompt audio cleanup and so on and so forth and uh, a ton of voices but i'm not so sure this is available uh, for this ton of voices in filmora but this is made possible because of this particular uh, f uh, program called audit and i'm sure they suffered in making sales for audit my suspicion though uh, and that is why they actually decided to bundle this together to see if they can break even and so on and so forth. But guess what? If you look at this, let's scroll down. You can see screen recording, camera recording, audio recording, system recording. For essentials, that's the cheaper, 178. The create gets the same, video length unlimited. Uh, let's see what's text-based video editing is when you get to uh -huh, the 200 and, 200 and something, 249 option advanced audio effects that's when you get this stock audio video and so on and so forth and as you scroll down uh, the different uh, options here audio script translation now this is available uh, in uh, what can I call it it is available in Filmora for uh, different options here now there is a ton of things including the economic caption is now available in uh, Filmora now I personally wouldn't recommend anyone, especially pass someone on a budget to get Camtasia unless you want Camtasia for e-learning purposes, especially if you're creating content uh, that needs COM. That is when I would say you actually get Camtasia. I'd recommend if you're just doing video editing, uh, let's just close this. If you just want to do video editing flat out, uh, the monthly is going to be expensive uh, in the long run. Just get this one. Uh, even if it's going for the discounted, most of the time it's usually discounted for 49.99. dollars 
just go for this yearly version and the reason why i'm not recommending the perpetual plan here is because you see the perpetual plan because i'm on windows it's only available on windows but for this one it's going to be cross-platform annual plan and guess what you get you keep up to date with future versions i'm almost sure we are going to get a filmora 14 later this year so we're actually going if you buy it right now you'll have it till next year so you'll actually even have access to filmora 14 and all those things as you look at the picture plan of filmora you only enjoy filmora 13 updates export without over everything else here is almost identical 100 plus advanced uh, video editing features and so on and so forth if we scroll down and you see what we get here uh, windows mac iphone android ipad android tablet uh, you get 200 ai credits per month so in a year that's going to be about uh, 00, 2400 credits speech to text paid by ai credits ai image ai copywriting ai music generator uh, ai text to video paid by credits ai translation paid by credits ai copilot editing is available ai thumbnail creator i don't think those things are available in uh camtasia ai uh, smart masking we've got smart cutout it's not available in camtasia ai audio stretch it's not available for a super cheap price of 29.99 at the recording of this video that is at the time of recording this video it's normally usually 49.99 or even 69 but that's way way cheaper than what Camtasia is actually going to give you to access some of these things and you can actually see ai generated video titles and descriptions and chapters you need to pay up to without the discount 5.99 that's a ton of money you actually get more or less uh like almost five six even seven years worth of subscription if it's the normal plan for the cross-platform annual plan so if i scroll down you'll see you get filmora storage 1gb creative assets 10 million plus preset templates copyrighted music ai portrait is available right inside here uh, new blue effects 200 plus scroll down video editing key framing is available in camtasia speed ramping not available in camtasia chroma key not available in camtasia and it's uh, really advanced in filmora motion tracking not available in filmora split screen templates not available not available in camtasia these are available in filmora but they're not available in camtasia they do have the green screen option or remove a color but it's not as advanced as they have it in filmora uh scroll down you can draw a mask stabilization lens correction uh, audio detaching i believe uh, almost every video application has screen recorder now it also has multi-track recording that is your screen and your webcam is two different layers uh, or two different tracks adjustment layer it's not available in camtasia uh, color editing if you actually click on this you'll see features like color matching hsl 3d lats available in camtasia but i don't think you can really tweak them that much rgb curve white balance sharpen hdr all these are not available in camtasia so now which one should you buy without shadow of a doubt this is what i'd say just buy filmora this cross-platform annual plan is going to save you a ton of money other than paying for camtasia create or even camtasia essentials or camtasia pro unless you're creating scom related content i'll be very honest if you want to save your money just buy filmora and i have nothing against camtasia but i feel over the years they've been growing and evolving a little bit slower than they should be uh and they've been overtaken by events and other applications they're now trying to play catch up but unfortunately the pricing is not the best when it comes to buying camtasia uh they should actually try and match maybe something like 79 dollars for maybe the creator plan uh, uh, the, 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 the camtasia create i'm not actually deciding for them to uh, to price their uh, options differently but that is how it, i would kind of be looking at and this one's for maybe a cheaper price because for what you get like 100 premium assets if you come to camtasia uh 15 million feel more creative uh, if you come to filmora here let's see yeah creative assets 10 million 
I don't even know what you need 100 million assets for. Uh, but simply put, if you're looking for or you want to make a purchase decision, purchase Film Model 13, don't buy Camtasia 2024 because the pricing is ridiculous. That's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. Uh, until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.